Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to manage DNS server role using Windows Server 2022 IPAM. We installed and configured IPAM on Windows Server 2022 in the last video. Link to that video is given in the description area. IPAM allows us to manage and maintain our DNS and DHCP servers from one location. Normally, we will use the DNS manager and the DHCP management console to configure these services. With IPAM, we can open one application and configure many IP services from one location. So let's start by learning how to configure and manage our DNS servers from IPAM. IPAM allows an administrator to configure DNS resource records, conditional forwarder, server properties, and DNS zone management. IPAM also allows an administrator to manage DNS for both Active Directory integration and file-based DNS servers. Open the Server Manager dashboard if it hasn't been opened yet. Click on IPAM. Under Monitor and Manage, click on DNS Zones. We have two default Active Directory integrated DNS zones and one standard DNS zone named mytastelab.local. We want to add one more DNS zone. Click on DNS and DHCP servers. Click on the DNS server where you want to create a DNS zone. Right click on SRT22-DC01 and select Create DNS Zone. We will be creating Forward Lookup Zone and Zone Type will be Primary. Enter the name of the DNS Zone. In this example, I want to create DNS Zone with the name msftwebcast.in. As we want to create AD Integrated DNS Zone, select Active Directory to store the zone data. If you want to create a standard DNS Zone, then select Zone File option. Let's select Active Directory to store the zone data. If your DNS zone is integrated with AD, you must also choose the scope for zone replication. Default domain is selected. That means the zone will be replicating with all DNS servers running on domain controllers in amazaptivebcast.com domain. Select the zone replication scope as per your requirement. We'll be going with domain. If you have created custom directory partition to store DNS zone data, you can select it from here. Next option is dynamic update settings. We want only secure dynamic update which is recommended for active directory. So make sure you choose allow only secure dynamic updates for dynamic update settings. Once you are ready, click apply. Check the summary. And if status is successful, click OK. We can see the DNS zone has been created successfully. Right click the msftwebcast.in zone and choose Add DNS Resource Record. DNS zone is selected, which is msftwebcast.in, and the DNS server is also selected, which is srt22 dc01. Click on New. Select Resource Record Type. We will be adding a new host record. So select A. And resource record name, which is www in our case. So FQDN will be www.msaptivebcast.in. Enter an IP address associated with this host record. Enter 172.18.72.55. If you want to create associated PTR record, then select this checkbox. Modify the TTL value if required. When ready, click on OK. Select msftwebcast.in DNS zone, click on Task and select Retrieve Server Data. Now let's click on Refresh. Make sure we have green icon for msftwebcast.in DNS zone. Let's open DNS Server and verify that the DNS zone and resource record is created successfully. Let's go to our DC01. Click on Tools 
and select DNS. Expand server name, expand for lookup zones, and we can confirm that we have successfully created msftwebcast.in Active Directory Integrated DNS Zone on DC01. Click on msftwebcast.in. We can also confirm that the host record www.msftwebcast.in is also created successfully. We have learned how to create a DNS zone and how to add a resource record to the existing DNS zone using IPAM. Now, let's take a look at configuring the DNS zone using IPAM. Let's go back to IPAM server. and the monitor and manage, click on DNS zones. We have an existing standard DNS zone named mytestlab.local on SRT22-DC02 server. We want to convert that standard DNS zone into AD integrated DNS zone. Right click on the zone and choose added DNS zone. Currently, the zone is stored in zone file. We want to store the zone in active directory. So select store the zone in active directory. Zone replication scope will be domain. Change the dynamic update settings to allow only secure dynamic updates, which is recommended for active directory. You can also set up aging and scavenging properties from here. At this moment, we are not going to do so. Click on name service tab. Type the acquidian of root DC, which is srt22-dc01.msftwebcast.com in our case. After entering the FQDN, click on Add Record. When ready, click on Apply to save the changes. Check the status on Summary tab. It should be Success. Click OK. At the Monitor and Manage, click on DNS and DHCP servers. Right click on SRT22-DC01 server and select Create DNS Conditional Forwarder. Using this window, you can create DNS Conditional Forwarder. For example, let's create Conditional DNS Forwarding for Google.com DNS domain and the IP address is going to be 8.8.8.8. Let's click on Add and click on Apply and wait for the status. Okay, it is Success. Click OK. This is how we can create conditional DNS forwarder using IPAM. As we have seen, we can easily manage and configure DNS from IPAM. Besides adding resource records or changing the zone properties, administrators can also configure the DNS preferred server, reset zone status, delete the existing DNS zone, and set access scopes. IPAM allows to configure both IP version 4 and IP version 6 networks. That's all for this video on how to manage DNS server using IPAM in Windows Server 2022. In the next video, we will learn how to manage DHCP server using IPAM. I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.